and starts with pressure behind your eye, builds up quick, very quickly in a couple of minutes. And then you want to push the pain back uh, because it's so intense. Uh, it feels like somebody put an ice pick in your eye and it lasts for 30 minutes up to one hour. Occasionally it happens one time a day. Richard Posthuma has suffered since 2009 from cluster headache disorder, or simply suicide headache. There is no cure available yet, only relief from symptoms. What I do when I feel attacked approaching, it's most of the time when you're typically relaxed, so it takes you by surprise, but I try to take pure oxygen as soon as I can. If that does not relieve the pain, then I'll take an injection to kill the attack. Although 600,000 people in the European Union suffer from cluster headache, very little is known about this chronic disease. There is simply not enough patient data available to identify medical patterns. But Richard, head of business operations, EMEA North at SAP, never lost heart. To find out more about my uh, patterns on my headaches, I, I started to keep a diary. And besides the medication that I took, I also registered um, alternative uh, treatments that I took, like shiatsu massage. But at a certain point in time, I also had uh, an, an impression that uh, external sources, like weather conditions, had a great influence on my life. So I put that into uh, the file as well. Getting up frequently from his chair and regular shiatsu massages help Richard to relax his neck muscles and prevent further attacks. But he doesn't stop here. I wanted to continue with this project, developing an app, establishing a platform where we collaborative collect all headache data, uh, because I've seen what it's done for myself. When I knew my triggers, um, it brought back my life. I can work normally again, have my social life back, uh, and my headaches are under control. And I want to do that for other people as well. Developed in close collaboration with the Federation of Dutch Headache Centers, Utrecht University and Delaware. The app is now tested with headache patients at Burhava Medical Clinics in Amsterdam. I can feel an attack coming and then I have time to start up my phone, I start up the app and to fill in this is the start. I can also fill in the moment when I take an injection. Just very easy. I just have to push one button. Peter Beekman gets up to 13 cluster headache attacks per day. The most important feature to him, the app is simple to use. The idea is that we get in real time information about the patient. I mean, the patient is suffering from the attack now. He's acting with medication right now. And we will see it right on our screens in the clinics. We can sort of monitor our patients from a distance and interfere in a much earlier state. The app is a win for everybody, for doctors and headache nurses, as well as for the patients. Patients can really see real time what is happening just before the attack starts, what could trigger off their attacks. So it gives a big insight, so their management of their own headache will improve by that. Based on the SAP Cloud Platform and SAP HANA, the app actually allows medical and other related data of patients from three specialized headache centers in the Netherlands, with four types of chronic headaches to be collected, stored and analyzed. The interesting part of this app is that it is also collecting data of where are they, what type of uh, weather circumstances are there, where they're traveling, where they're sleeping, and if you put that together, you get an enormous amount of data, big data as they call it, in which you can do uh, analysis. In the future, the app could even collect patient data from all 40 headache centers in the Netherlands and push research forward about chronic headaches. Chronic headache is a big problem. In Europe only, we have 50 million sufferers from chronic headache, uh, according to recent European data. And this costs the European community about 112 billion euros per year. If you look in the, in the further future, it's quite easy possible to make it a broader application and make it also suitable for other chronic disease. So this is the true uh, innovative potential, I think, of the app. Richard seems to have found his personal way to cope with his disease. And in some way, it has given a new purpose to his life. Personally, at the moment, I'm doing very fine. 
and in the future I hope that we can help individual patients with a faster time to diagnose and eventually with this central and systematic approach of data that we're able uh, to boost research to find cures for headache patients. And one day even find a cure for Richard so the pain in his head would never come back.